Hey, Corona Cation, and welcome to day 41. It is April the 24th, which means here in Georgia, some businesses are even opening up. Stay safe out there, though. Hey, Andrew, it's Friday, and I wanted to play two games today. So our first game, it's a little bit upside down. You remember our theme, right? It's upside down. We're talking about humility, putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. And man, that might seem upside down at times because we give up things that we think we deserve, but for the benefit of other people, we're being humble. And so Andrew, I wanted to do an upside down game, and this is just upside down landmarks. I'm gonna show you a picture, I'm gonna show you 11 pictures actually, really quick. And you're gonna have to see if you can name all 11. Those of you playing at home, let's see if you can not only name all 11, but if you can name them faster than Andrew. Good luck in our first scream. Upside down landmarks, let's go. All right, here we go, Liam. Uh, the bin clock, I don't remember what it's called. The bin clock. Uh, the Roman Coliseum. Um, uh, Eiffel Tower. Uh, Eiffel Tower. Let's see. Leaning, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Yeah, yeah. Not pizza. Pizza. Um, 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 Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. Um, oh, the, ah, uh, what is that, what is that? The Space Needle in Seattle. Yeah. Um, the Arch in St. Louis. Yeah. Um, oh, ah, uh, the Stonehenge place. I don't know where it's at. The Stonehenge place. Um, Sydney, Sydney, Sydney. Australia. Yeah, Sydney, Sydney. I don't know what that's called though. I don't know what it's called. White uh, House. No. no. <laughs> Not the White House. Um, Great Wall of China. <laughs> okay, Corey, I I feel like I did pretty good. I think I me and do. I think me and Liam did pretty good. Except I did do good. I'm gonna have to show him what the White House is. Um, I'm curious to see what coronation is. Or, or how they did today, and uh, I'm, we're ready to play your second game. So um, y'all check out this next video. Ooh. Oh, oh, excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name's Jacob, but my friends call me Jake. I don't know how all these balloons got here. It must just be a... Uh, Another hilarious April Fool's Month joke from my friends. <laughs> and it's a good one. But I can't find anything. I mean, it took me forever just to find this camera. Hello? Camera? Where are you? I need to talk about humility. Camera? Camera? Hello? Where are you? I need to talk about humility. So, let's talk about humility. Humility is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Now, what's a good way to describe humility? Okay, so let's say I was a world famous balloon maker. I could be all like, I make balloons better than anybody. I deserve the best seat in the house at the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the balloon convention. I deserve the best seat in the house at the balloon convention. Meh. What if I won a contest for best color box puzzle solving? I could be all like, I can cube solve faster than you. I'm smart and you're not. <laughs> or I could be like, hey, if you want to know more about cube solving, I can teach you because I'm smart and also nice. Lamps or electricity. You know everything there is to know about electricity. You're like Alfred Einstein. This lamp works because of power going through the wire into the light bulb and it makes it bright and stuff. And I can control it with a switchy poo. I know everything there is to know about electricity and light and things like that. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was really weird. I don't really know anything about electricity. Anyway, today's story is about these people who thought they knew everything about what God was up to, but they really had a lot more to discover. I've got a lot more to discover too. Like, where's my bed? And my TV? And my floor? What do you call bears with no ears? B.
You know, throughout my entire life, I've never trusted stairs. They're always up to something. Okay, so it doesn't matter how important you are or how talented you are or how much you think you know things. Things will still happen to you that you don't see coming. Like, I didn't see a room full of balloons coming today. Being humble means admitting there are things you can't do and things you don't know. I am really good at that. That wasn't very humble. Those guys on the road with Jesus thought they knew everything God had planned. That's why when Jesus died, they were like, no way. But Jesus showed them God knew what he was doing all along. For like thousands of years, God left clues that he was sending someone to save the world. Someone from Abraham's family, a king, like King David, and he would come to earth as a baby, like that prophet guy Isaiah said. There were even clues that a savior would die and come back to life. All that came true with Jesus. So when you expect things to go a certain way, even if you like 100% know things are gonna go that way, they may not. And that's okay, because nobody knows the future, except for God. Hey, maybe we can look into the Bible for clues to what God's plan is for us. Let me see if I can find my Bible. Ah, oh, no, that's not it. Okay, but there's one verse I remember. It's kind of a clue. This guy Paul wrote, we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him. I think that means even things that seem bad will turn out good in the end. Pretty cool, huh? So I don't need to know everything that's gonna happen because God's in control. Here's one thing to remember today. There's always more to discover about God's plan. We're never gonna know everything. That's why we've gotta keep searching. I'm gonna look for my Bible one more time. I wanna see if there's any more clues. Not what I expected, but I think it'll do the job. You might wanna close your ears for this and your eyes, just to be safe. <laughs> Don't worry, Floor! I'll find you! Oh! Andrew, I just recorded the best video ever. One take wonder, except I forgot to hit record. So here's take number two. Hey, I wanna play a second game with you today. And man, it has been crazy how much toilet paper has been in the news. People have been talking all about toilet paper, but nobody's been talking about toilets. And so today for our second game, I want to do a toilet trivia game. How well do you know toilets? So I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions. Let's see if you can answer along with Andrew and totally destroy him in another trivia game. Let's do this. How well do you know your toilet? All right, Liam, let's, let's do this. Most toilets, A, are public, B, flush in the key of E flat. What? Use one third of the house water. Are you good? B? That's weird. B. We got it! We got it. I'm gonna have to play my guitar in my toilet. Average life expectancy of a toy is two years, 10 years, 50 years, 20 years. I'm gonna say B, 10 years. 10 years. 50 10 years? years? Man! 72.4% of toilet users prefer what? Their toilet to be, not to be white, their toilet paper to be pulled from under the roll. Toilet paper we pulled from over the roll. C, boom! I guessed that right on time. C, definitely. On average, how many years do you spend visiting the toilet? Six months, one year, two years, three years? Six months. Three years. D. How boom! Was I not right? Which of the below toilets would be the cleanest? Uh, the first one. A, because no one goes to the first one. Yes! Oh, we were right. When is a toilet flushed the most? A, Monday mornings between 9 and 10, Valentine's Day, the Super Bowl, halftime show, Cinco de Mayo. Uh, C. Oh. I am on a roll. Yes, he is on. When is World Toilet Day? Um... November 19th. November 19th? Is that what we're going with? Yeah. November hey. 19th. Yes! Give me five, Liam! 
Oh, we're rocking this. Which TV show showed a toilet on TV first? Uh, B. Leave it to B. Beaver. Yeah! Boom! Oh, yes! True or false? When it comes to toilet paper, women are more likely to fold and men are more likely to bunch. True. 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 Women are cleaner. What? What? Oh my goodness. Boys are cleaner, I guess. If Afghanistan only 70% of homes have toilets, but 19% of homes have horses? C? TVs. Most, most TV. Well, my How many are. Americans are injured by toilets each year? Uh, 127. 40,000? People don't use the toilet right. Come on. What in the world? That okay, Liam, we did really good on the toilet yeah. trivia. Um, uh, we might know our toilet better than you do. I I bet we do. So uh good luck beating me and Liam. Okay? Yeah. Good luck. Um have fun, enjoy your day, and we will see you later. Bye.